And we're gonna start series three, episode one. The fashion show. We're talking about this, what really is fresh in our minds. Yeah. Will shitting himself. Jay got broken up with. Simon almost got the girl. And Neil, Neil yep. keeps stumbling through life. <sighs> anyway, let's dive in. Let's do it. Things were gonna be different this year. For one, Jay could now drive, meaning we had a choice of which shit embarrassing car we gotta lift to school in. Simon's was more yellow, but Jay's was more dangerous. Morning, Benders. Jump in the minge mobile. Strange thing to call your mum's car. <laughs> Jay driving us to school really did make me feel like royalty. Unfortunately, the royalty I felt like was Princess Diana. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, we can't let that Don't one get slip. that reference. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. There's there there are times where I jumped in uh, someone else's car and I'm like, oh my god, this was a bad idea. Yeah, like. This is the last time. Uh, I, I really contemplate. So this is the last time I'm going to be alive? Yeah, yeah. These are the last faces I'm going to see before I die? <laughs> Send some goodbye texts. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God. But, yeah, some people, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess Jay's one of them. Roundabout, Jay! Uh, give way to the fucking left. Stupid old bint. I think it's the right, mate. Is it? Oh, wait, yeah, that does sound familiar. What's that in your ear? Oh, it's a piercing. It's just a stud for now, but my dad's minding me a diamond to put in it. Cool. Hang on, have you had the left ear pierced? Yes. Isn't that the one you get pierced to show you're gay? Fuck off! Oh yeah, that is the gay one. Well, there's a quick way to tell, Neil. Which ear has your dad got pierced? Neither, because he's not bent. Of course not. Well, which ear's gay? Oh, I'm the last person to ask. I thought you knew everything. Well, I don't know any men who've had their ears pierced, because I went to a private school. <laughs> Why have you had that done anyway? Oh, I like to keep my look fresh. Plus, I'll probably need it for the fashion show tomorrow. Oh, yes, the school charity fashion show, where only people deemed good-looking enough by other good-looking people get to take part and raise money. Well, there's going to be special guests. Special guests? Oh, I wonder who that's going to be. Maybe Beyonce and Jay-Z, the Obamas. Look, I don't give a shit what you think about it, because when I'm up there modelling, I'll have my pick of the snatch. Everyone knows that male models get all the pussy. I didn't know they asked you to model, Jay. Well, I haven't yet, and I haven't asked anyone. I think they have. Well, I'm telling you they haven't, because no-one's asked me. But it's tomorrow. Are you deaf? I've not been asked. I'll be the first in line for any modelling work. Look at me. Well, I've been asked. Fuck off! Carly's one of the organisers and she's asked me to model. You? Who wants a model that looks like a spotty baby crossed with the Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It was hard to know where Jay got the idea he should be a male model. It's I don't know. I don't know, man. I... I... I don't know if I'm the best person to judge who should be a male model and who is not. I know we Obviously get, us. Obviously us. Obviously us. Two fat American dudes. Hell yeah. We judge. <laughs> we judge. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. We could do real tree. Real tree? <laughs> model for, for Mossy Oak. For Walmart catalog. Bass Pro Shops. Hell yeah. Cabela's. Yes, anything camouflage. Throw it our way. Yep. Because you can't see us. Burger King. <laughs> we can model Burger King. John Cena's clothing line. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Seriously, what clothes are going to look better on you than me? Apart from a paper bag for your fucking head. Brilliant. Take a bit of rest now, Jay. Good morning. Shut up and let's get this over with. Right. Wait a minute. Cartwright, what is that? It's a stud, sir. I don't mean the earring. <laughs> Take it out, or I will rip it out. But what about my human rights? You have to be human for those to apply cards right <laughs> out now. Right. I'm sure that most of you will remember Alistair Scott. Yes, Sutherland? I don't. You sat next to him in registration for four years? Oh, Alistair. Well, thankfully, after a tough year, they found a donor and he's finally on the mend. In preparation for his return to school, he's coming in at lunchtime to answer any questions you may have about his illness and... Yes, Sutherland. Can I catch it? No. You cannot catch kidney failure. Mackenzie, my office. Ten minutes. What's Gilbert want? Probably wants me to act as a chaperone for that Alistair kid. Poor guy. Imagine what he's been through. He's a dick. Jay? What? He is a dick. I never liked him when he was well. I never liked him when he was ill. And I don't like him now. He's getting better. Symbols. Oh, he was all right. No, he wasn't. He was a complete bell end. He was worse than briefcase. Thanks very much. Look, he's had a hugely traumatic time. Maybe he's changed. Well, he's not going to got more interested in an hospital bed attached to a drip for a year, is he? What a sympathetic view of a life-threatening illness. And he used to stink. Oh, I'm not going. Oh, come on, Jay. There might be sausage rolls. Why would there be sausage rolls? We had sausage rolls when my nan died. He's not dead, Neil. Isn't he? Well, he still might have sausage <laughs> rolls, though. Fine, fuck it. I'll come. But I'm warning you, 
He's a dick. You want to see me, sir? Want is an overstatement. I'm putting you in charge of collecting the money for tomorrow's fashion show. The last time they had a collection for charity, nearly half the money went missing, and then the organisers started turning up in new trainers. Well, sir, whilst I'm really pleased that you think I'm trustworthy enough to... Oh, it's not that. I just know that if anything did happen, I could break you. Right. Well, the thing is, I object to the fashion show on a moral level. I'm sorry. It's not about raising money. It's a popularity parade. It's just the self-elected attractive people using charity as an excuse to show off. Well, this is a first. As it happens, Mackenzie, I agree with you. You do? Yes. Great. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. <laughs> so, you either collect the money or it's detention, starting now and continuing indefinitely. But you said you agreed with me. Yes, I know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> OK, fine, I'll do it. But I'm still exercising my right to protest. Good. Just make sure it's not a dirty protest like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Just as uh, oh, uh, Gilbert yeah. is a dick. Oh. Oh. I, I'm just oh. trying to think of any teacher that I had throughout any of my schooling that even came close to Gilbert. I remember a few, yeah. but you probably remember none because they were all fired by the Karens of the world. <laughs> I think my generation, my, my year eked out with these teachers still in power. Oh, Before okay. the mothers of students got involved the way they do. I'm about to say, we're only five years apart. Like it five years is a whole high school generation. Yeah, that's four years. Yeah. So that's. I'll give you that. I'll you give know? you that. Like, I, yeah. they, they could still be dicks. And uh, could you imagine how quick shit changes now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we have social media. Yeah. But trust me, I work in education. Yeah. I so know. five years is a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> well, a high schooler's lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. They enter and leave within five years. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you're entering and leaving in five years, then you've done something wrong. Or right. Or right. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Told you there'd be sausage rolls. Look at him. Fucking milking it. Jay is in a wheelchair. He was always a bit lazy, though. I don't think it's that now. <laughs> Why is Carly finding him so funny? I mean, what can he be saying that's so funny? He was never funny. Um, excuse me, everyone. Quiet. Uh, I want to talk. I wanted to say super thanks to everyone who's given up their time to take part in the fashion show tomorrow to raise money for a new dialysis machine for St. Margaret's. Especially all the sexy girls. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Did you just say super thanks? Oh, no. Oh, I, now I see what they're talking about. Got it. Yeah, okay, you, you have it. to be nice to him because he's sick. Oh, I, 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 pick up, I pick up a different vibe. I know why she's super happy and friendly around him. Uh huh. And he just said super. Uh, I I get uh -huh. it. I get where this is going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. 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 I think that's okay. Let's watch it. Nobody told me we was raising money for that twat. Might think twice about modelling tomorrow now. You're not modelling anyway. Oh, it's going to be a gasherama. I'm going to try getting a job helping out backstage, so that way I get to see some close-up flange, but for charity. Hi, Simon. You come to the rehearsal after school? Yeah, of course. How much rehearsal does it take to walk up and down in a straight line wearing clothes? It's more for timings and stuff, really. Do you need any helpers, Carly? Oh, brilliant, we do, actually. Hardly anyone has volunteered and we yeah. really need people to help get the models dressed. Oh, I still need them. They're stupid. Can't they even dress themselves? It's for the quick changes, actually. Whip one outfit off and another one on. If you're sure you don't mind, Neil. Are you joking? Great, thanks. Hey, guys. Everybody cool? Hi, I'm Will, by the way. I'm relatively new. Are you the kid who shit himself in the exam? Oh. Nice to meet you, too. Now, I was wondering if you and I could have a little chat about some other ways to raise money, ways that could include everyone, the whole school, whatever they look like. Oh, yeah, could do, only you're not as pretty as Carly, so I think right now I'm going to go and chat to her, yeah. See ya. What a dick. Carly, Carly! Dick? You don't think him and Carly are... Nah. Nah. If they are, I bet he's really good at it. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go. I've got a missed call from Ralph Lauren. Dad joke. Didn't even ring, did it? Oh, I'm well excited. Imagine the birds I'm going to get to see as a dresser. It's not top international models, Neil. It's just a load of the girls from school that you see every day. Yeah, but I think I'd fancy them a lot more if I saw them naked. Um, Carly, can I have a word? I'm a bit busy. What's up? I was just wondering if you needed any more models for tomorrow. No, we're fine. Good, good. I don't know if you noticed, but I've had my ear pierced. Oh, right. So do you think you can fit one more in now? Well, no, because you've only got a certain amount of clothes. Well, I could wear my own clothes. 
We're probably OK. So I'm like first reserve then? Well, we haven't really got any reserves, so sort of no. Cool, cool, cool. Simples. How about a free ticket instead? Well, it's for charity, so there aren't really any free tickets. Yeah, nice one, Carl. So I'll catch you later, yeah? But Simon was practising hard. Simon's my best friend. This bloke is my best friend. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> spying on me? Spying. Is that how you get your kicks? It's all right. <laughs> Just I think we found the new David Beckham. Right, that's it. That is it. I'm sick of you people. <laughs> I'm leaving. You're not going out now. You've got school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, run away at the weekend, but you got your car back. Well, I'm not spending another second in this house with you utter twats. Where are you going? Paris or Milan? <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> He's just like Naomi Campbell. So Simon was well on his way Where? to becoming a supermodel. He had the temperament. Now all he needed was bulimia and a cocaine addiction. <laughs> <laughs> bulimia and a cocaine addiction. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, that's why I can never model. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same reason. <laughs> yep, that cocaine is... Too pricey. Yeah, it's too not the pricey. Close. Just the cocaine. <laughs> and I like and I like Burger King. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> true. I'm not saying don't give to charity. Do give to charity. I'm just saying you can give without supporting this egotistical vanity fest. My daughter is one of the models. Then you've failed her. What? Oh. God, five pounds, please. Well, I think it's so great that you're helping out. I knew you'd come round. I don't come round. I still feel exactly the same about this sham popularity parade. You're being such an ass. What is wrong with you? Alistair nearly died. God! Carly, what did you say to her? Nothing. Maybe a small dose of the truth? Will, seriously, you have to stop cock-blocking with all this principled shit. Simon, if Nelson Mandela hadn't stood up for his beliefs, where would we be now? We wouldn't have Nelson's column for a start. Yes, we would. I'd better have piss before this starts. And a post sign. What have you done? Just my new look. Oh, oh my God! Pirates of the Caribbean. Exactly. If the pirate shopped at Matalan. Yeah, we well, won't be laughing. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <coughs> oh. oh! He looks like Wish.com Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I did. I. Then again, oh. he pulled Megan Fox, so maybe he was ahead of his time. Dude, what <laughs> the hell? Oh my god. Bro, don't put hoops. No one ever does hoops except, oh. like he said, <laughs> for pirates. Oh, bro. Anyway, this is great. When I'm getting all the pussy, because I'm up on the catwalk. You're not going to be on the catwalk. You are modeling. I'm first reserve. What, in case the models fancy themselves so much they actually eat themselves? Oh, you would if you could, though. What? Suck yourself off. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but I bet you've tried it. We all have. Oh, I managed to lick the tip once, but it took a lot of stretching. Twice a day for a couple of weeks. Well, thanks for sharing, Neil. <laughs> right, I've got to go. I'm desperate for a piss. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a curtain. Where's all the birds? I thought it'd be wall-to-wall poons hanging here. Presumably they're on the other side of the curtain. Well, why have they done that? We can't see them getting undressed now. For that exact reason, Neil. Oh, fucking bollocks. That's a spanner to my plan. There's got to be a hole. Come on, you're going to be getting my clothes ready. Yeah, I think this is a little bit more important. You ready to go yet, yeah, Simon? Uh, yeah, nearly ready. Great. We're having an after party in the common room later. Mark Donovan's got some booze, so you'll come to that, yeah? Oh, yeah, obviously. Amazing. Oh! I was washing my hands and it splashed back onto my lap. It's fine. Just make sure... <laughs> oh. Why can't he win? Oh! He can't win. He just can't win. Oh. oh. I don't want to know what that is. But everything is spotless yeah. at the runway, yeah? I'm really sorry. It's okay. I've got to run. There's still a million things to deal with. Oh, Neil, do you know which boys are dressing? Boys? I thought I was dressing the girls. <laughs> no, of course not. You and Mr. Kennedy are dressing the boys. You're the oh, only volunteers. See you is right that there. the... Oh, that guy! Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Pedo Kennedy. I suppose at least if you run out of space, you'd be able to hang the clothes on the end of his erect cock. So, no naked girls for Neil. Just a sexual predator in a waistcoat. Me oh, man. <laughs> Uh, they, uh, it, it's a common theme of this of this show. They just can't win. Mm -mm. They just can't win. But that's like every group of high school guys. Yeah. You know, it. I. That's why I love this. It's so like, fucking yesterday. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> a few yesterdays ago. <laughs> yeah. Charity, not vanity. Hello, stranger. Charlotte. Hi. Charlotte. Here. Yeah, good spot. Yes. Ha. No. I mean, what are you doing here? Oh. Well, I had a reading week, so I thought I'd come home. Didn't know this was your sort of thing. You know, fashion. Oh, it's not. I think it's shit, and everyone taking part in it is a vain, talentless twat. I'm in it. Apart from you, and, and maybe Sai. <laughs> Why did no one tell me you're in it? Well, I didn't know if I could make it, so they put me down as like a special guest or something really embarrassing, just because I once did some catalogue modelling. Underwear? No. You are going to come watch me, though, aren't you? Even though I'm a talentless twat. Oh, yeah! No, no, I was only joking about that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm really behind this whole thing, taking the money, helping set it up. Why are you trying to ruin this event, Mackenzie? Good timing. Do you think kidney patients like me should die? Is that it? Nah, come on, mate. That's a bit extreme. Is he trying to stop you coming in, too? No, I'm one of the models. Oh, you must be Charlotte. Oh, wowza, Rooney. <laughs> are you aware this week's was trying to stop people giving money to charity? Oh. Well? No, that's not entirely correct. Look, Alistair, why don't we go and have a chat about this somewhere different, eh? No, let's talk about it here. Wasn't a request. See you later, Charlotte. What are you doing? Are you <laughs> trying to wheel me away? Oh! This thing's got brakes, you know. You can't just roll me off. You're trying to sabotage this event. I won't stand for you. I won't stand for you. I won't stand for you. Boom, boom. This is my special day and you're trying to ruin it! I'm going to go and get ready. I think I got away with that. Yes! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> I loved that. That's probably my the best moment of season three. Uh-huh. So it, far. And we're only halfway through the first episode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is my second favorite uh. Will moment, aside from the when he came into the the the, the pub. After shit in his pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god! The, oh, dude, you gotta admire the size of this dude's balls. Uh huh. Like, he, okay, okay, you can go off now. Oh, you have wheels. Let me push you. <laughs> no, you can't push me. It's my day. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh shit! Brilliant. No, of course I hadn't got away with it. Backstage, Simon's big moment had almost arrived, and Neil didn't give a shit. Neil, can you give me a hand, please? Oh, mate, this is like torture. I spent the last week thinking about the snatches back there. I'm in a rush, Neil. I reckon Sarah Bell's got lovely big nipples, and I bet Joe Larkin shaves her pubes. We can hear you, you pervert. Who said that? It's only a curtain. We can hear everything you're saying. Shit. He's really sorry. I recognise one of those voices. It's Simon Cooper. Do something, Neil. How big are Sarah Bell's nipples? Right, that's it. I'm getting a teacher. Shit. Thanks, Neil. Good job. All right, Eve San the Ponce, what's going on here then? Neil's getting shit. They put a curtain up so we can't see the clunge. It's totally sexist. Ah, the crafty fuckers. They tried this when we did the school play. We just cut a hole in the curtain and stuck our knobs for it. It was well horny. We was getting noshed off in between scenes. We can still hear you. And oh. that never happened. Simon, you're on, hun. It's models only back here. Yeah, but look. Two. The left one looks affected. Please hurry up, Simon. You're on next. Can someone just help me with my fucking cufflinks, please? All right, precious. I'll help you. But if you haven't gotten them on in 30 seconds, I'm going out there in your place. No, you girl well. said there was some sort of problem back. Oh. Come on. We'd better get you out of these clothes. But, sir, I'm not modelling. Oh. You should be. Our first collection theme is Glamorous Nights, and it's put together in correct tense by Carly D'Amato. Modelling, that should be two L's, these gorgeous outfits are the equally gorgeous... Christ, who wrote this? <laughs> Stephen DeBell, Richard Murray and Simon Cooper. I'm not sure what the word for the opposite of cool is, but I think I know what it looks like. <laughs> Sadly, I couldn't enjoy Simon's dreadful modelling for long. I had a two-wheeled nightmare on my case. Mackenzie! You try anything like that again, Alistair, I will. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Is that meant to be a joke about the chair? I can walk, you know, I just get tired easy. No, 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 it's not that. I think we just differ on ways to raise money. I happen to think that this is exclusive and about vanity. And I happen to think you're a wanker! It's not very mature, is it? Even in this chair, I could kick your ass. I could kick your ass right in. Ow! Let's not make a scene. Come on! Hey! You're mental! He is mental! Fuck you! Well, you've got to help me. Oh, hey, sexy. I was supposed to be modelling with Paul Keenan, but he got so nervous he drank a bottle of vodka and passed out in the staff toilets. Please, will you take his place? Me? 
Um, he won't do it. He thinks it's exclusive vanity. Right. No, he's talking shit. It's the painkillers. Of course I'll do it. Oh, great. What? Oh, hypocrite! Oh. OK, right, you. Time for sleep. <laughs> Yeah, he's fine. He gets very grumpy when he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is going really well. Amazing. That was a big power move right oh. there by Will. <laughs> I admire that a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> Doing that to a cripple. Am I Handy allowed to say capable? that? Handy capable. Handy capable. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Did we no cock up so far? Oh, well done. You've mastered walking like a knob and looking like a dick at the same time. This is actually enjoyable in an I'm shitting myself kind of way. If you shit yourself in them trousers, I ain't touching them. Of course I haven't. You walk like you have. Neil, quick. I need help getting dressed. You are dressed. No, dress into something else. This for the fashion show. I'm modeling in the fashion show. Well, that's not happening. I'm first reserve. No, no way. What's up with you? I thought this was the worst sort of vanity. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. Somebody pulled out and Charlotte asked me to fill in. So give me the clothes. All oh, right, now it makes sense. One flash of Charlotte's tits and your morals go out the window. Well, we can discuss my morals later after I get these fucking jeans on. God, they're tight. I mean, it can't be comfortable to walk around in jeans this tight every day, can it? Yeah, let me help. What is this fucking banging out of order? On first reserve! It was me Charlotte wanted. She chose me. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Yeah, well, they'll be sorry. I'll show them. Columbine Massacre show them or Futile Gesture show them? <laughs> Whatever's worse. <coughs> um, Neil, you just brushed my penis there. Yeah. That's the second time. Yeah, I know. Of course, the only reason I was taking part in the fashion show was to get my penis brushed, <laughs> but by Charlotte, not <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to ready so quickly. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look, I just wanted to say, I'm really pleased you picked me. It means a lot. Didn't have a choice, really, did I? Didn't you? No, we had to find someone to fit the clothes, and I was like, who do I know that's really short? Who? Oh. And then, obviously, I thought of you. Is that really the reason? No, not really. They let me choose who I wanted, and I chose you. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Although it did have to be someone short. Right. And the next theme is... 70s disco. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Yes! I'm a principled man, and one of those principles oh, turns out God. to be I'll do literally anything a girl I fancy asks me to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm willing to admit I also got a bit carried away. They do say a woman can tell a lot about what a man's like in bed from the way he dances, which meant that if I did pull Charlotte, she'd be expecting surprise and enthusiasm, a lot of finger work, and an abrupt <laughs> stop when I remembered where I was. <laughs> Meanwhile, backstage, Neil was finally experiencing some job satisfaction. Oh, fucking hell, at last. Simon, there's been a slight change of plan. Chris Yates is meant to be wearing this in my sexy finale, but he's just taken off his shirt and his back is disgustingly hairy, so I sacked him. I thought this was for charity. You know when you get loads of hair caught around the plug hole in the bath and it gets all matted and wet? Yeah. Yeah, well, his back looked like that. It nearly made me vomit, so he sacked. Anyway, it means that I need you to wear this instead for the sexy finale. <laughs> oh, Are these speedos? Simon, you've been brilliant all night. Plus, you've got a great body. Please, for me? Of course. Thanks. See you out there. You've got one minute. This is a bunch of wins for both Simon and Will. Jay and Neil are just not, <laughs> straight up not having right. a good time. They've, they've had their times. Yeah, yeah, you know? And Jay's about to just explode right technically, here. Technically, technically, he's the only one with the girlfriend. He yeah. has, he's the only one in the group that has had a girlfriend. You're right, you're right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Even props for that. I'm just saying. Yeah. This is so fucking unfair. So I'm not even second reserve now. Who's she gonna ask next? Big job. Well, do you want to wear the speedos? No. Oh, what's the point? Ah. Oh, mate, your ear don't look great. It's covered in pus. Oh. oh. Fucking hell. I better get this looked at. Good luck, boner. Try not to get a stiffy in them speedos. He's right. You're in trouble, Si. I nearly shot me bolt just looking at her, and all she was doing was standing there being moany. No, did you hear what she said? She thinks I've got a great body. If I could just do this one thing for her, who knows what could happen? I know. You'll get a boner in front of the whole school, and in speedos, there is no hiding in it. Trust me. I said in a couple of minutes. I can do it. I can do this. Simon, are you ready yet? 
Can you give me a hand, Neil? Nah, you're all right. Simon! That was so amazing, <coughs> so brilliant. I could not have done it without you. How was it? He was brilliant. Was he? Yeah, he was all like, yay! Yay! Well, it wasn't entirely yay. I know, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Simon. Are you all right? Please don't destroy. He's bro, going boner. Bro! Oh, man. Oh, man. That is something oh, you ain't never going to no. see the two of us do. Oh, I'm dude. sorry. Speedo's just now. Nah. I'll know. jump in the goddamn motion with jeans before <laughs> I get a Speedo on. I'll put my wiener in a meat grinder before yep. that. I, I'm, I'm, uh, isn't the Speedo the same thing? Like, I'm good. I think so, good. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Strap me. Do this. But... <laughs> Simon was concentrating so hard on not getting a boner that he was oblivious to what can only be described as quite a serious wardrobe malfunction. Worst wardrobe malfunctions so, of all time. So, you shit yourself or you have a testy out? I'd rather shit myself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What about that's, you? That's a, that's a, like a. Yeah, it's like 5149. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd shit myself too, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'd shit myself too. At least I could blame something. Yeah, exactly. I, I could blame something I ate. Uh-huh. And it gets some sort of empathy, but you, you, you can't go out there with a the nut out. Yeah, yeah, you can't blame it <laughs> on something blame you can't blame anyone. Ate. Oh, God. You can probably blame it on something you drank, but... Oh, uh, God, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see him r destroy himself. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! I love that. Seriously, thank you, Will. I'm so grateful. Oh, it was nothing. Just what was left of my dignity. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. And what other guy would have done that for me? I mean, uni's great, but there's no one there like you. Shut up. No, seriously. All I want is a boyfriend like you. I mean, you're funny and you're sweet and you're kind to me. I think I'd be happy if I had someone in my life just like you. Well, what about me? <laughs> no, no, not you. No, no, no someone like you. <laughs> oh! So funny. Not you, obviously. <laughs> Come on, lovely, let's go for a drink. Um, no, I'm OK, thanks. I just... I'll just wait here, I think. Okay, come on. Uh, Good job. So before he gets the shit beat out of him, uh, that's that stings. It, you know, he likes you just as a friend. Wants well, someone just like you, but, but not you. But he stood up for himself in a way. He did. He, he was did. like, no, I'll stay here. Nah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you go, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you just... Uh, you said that you don't want me, but you do want someone like me. Uh-uh. Like, no, so go, we're yeah, not we're yeah. not doing that. Uh-uh. No. Good for him for standing up yep. for himself. Nice one, twat face. Good dancing. Uh, all that whining and complaining for what? Nothing. You're what they call a sanctimonious prick. Yes. Well, good to talk to you again, Al. Is that all? No. I hope one day you get a serious illness too. Oh, fuck off, Alistair, you Dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. You were great. Yeah, a bit of a weird reaction. It wasn't meant to be funny. It was meant to be glamorous. You're a dick. No, you're a dick. You're a dick. Guys, you're... come on. Calm down. Let's spoil a good evening. We've put on a great show. And we've raised uh, a hell of a lot of money, haven't we, Carl? Is there <laughs> your testicles sticking out? What? Ah! Is that why everyone was laughing? Has it been out the whole time? Oh, my God, you've been walking behind me, mocking me. You ruined my big night. I thought you liked me, you arsehole. Hey, hey, Carl, it's all right. It's cool. Come on. Uh, Carly, listen, please. Oh, it's fine. You look super sexy. Bit of dramatic. It's only a bollock. Fucking hell, I'm going to kill Neil. Didn't you feel a draft? Yeah, it was tingling, but I thought it was nerves. Oh, God, do you think people saw? Yes. It was eye level for most of the audience. Oh, God, no. No. I suppose you thought that was funny, did you? 
Well, your little joke's got you in a lot of trouble. Honestly, it wasn't a joke. No. There is nothing funny about testicles, Cooper, <laughs> as you'll discover tomorrow in my office. What? Sorry, sir. That, that sounds a bit weird. No, it didn't. <laughs> See me tomorrow. Uh... <laughs> right, then. Let's get you out of these clothes. Sir, I told you, I'm not modelling. Oh, no, 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 you are. You are. I had word with the man. The man said... The show finished ten minutes ago. Oh. You've been drinking, sir. Oh. Come on, Tom. Let's go get you some fresh air. Oh. Putting my fucking neck on the line for you, John. I mean, why did you agree to wear it in the first place? Carly told me to. Even with your whole sack covered, you'd look ridiculous. Speedos, DMs, top hat and a leash. What maniac designed that? Who thought, you know what's fashionable? Dressing like an upper-class mental patient. All right. Did you get that bone in there, Si? No. Oh, well done. But my left bollock was sticking out the entire time. <laughs> Fucking hell, unlucky. I blame you. All right, guys. How's your ear, Jay? Perfect. That's why I've got to wear this massive bandage. Oh, I suppose that's your modelling career, fuck then. He never had a modelling career. Yeah, but I'm not bothered, because I fucked the nurse who looked after me. The St John's Ambulance Lady? <laughs> yes. Isn't she Warren Dunkley's nan? No, there was another one that looked like Lucy Pinder. Of course there was. We going to this party, then? I'm definitely not going. Nor me. I think I burst into tears. Oh, what, because you're so unpopular? No, Neil, because of Charlotte. Oh, what happened with her, then? She basically told me I had no chance at all, ever. Yeah, well, I told you that. Yeah, but funny enough, it hurt more coming from her. You know I snogged her once. No, I did not know that. I could have sworn I told you. I think I would have remembered such crushing news. Oh, well, don't worry, it was after you. That makes it worse. Yeah, now it's like a betrayal, too. Was it just a snog? Neil, please. Yeah, of course, mate, of course. Just a snog. Well, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a great <sighs> series. Oh, man. Two thumbs up. You know it. Yep. You know it. Oh, oh man. Oh, man, what a... What a show. What a show. You know, this is something that just could never be made again. No, no. And not made in America. You, you know... They can't get away with the ball there. Well, it's, it's not even it's not even just that. It's just no one wants to understand real life. No. They have all these cameras and all this shit saying that, oh, this is like real, like-ish TV, like reality TV, stuff like that. The world doesn't want to know what reality is for no. high schoolers. No, they don't want to look that directly in the... No. And if they did, it wouldn't be shown in this country because right. the censorship wouldn't allow true, real grit to be shown. Right, and even if it did, like, we want glitz and glamour. Yeah. We don't want reality. Yeah. Do you think high school is PC? You of course crazy. not! Crazy! Crazy! Of course it's not! Like Hell no! Oh my god, dude. It... it it's stupid. It's stupid. It's so dumb. Like, they want, oh, this reality shit, and, and they don't want reality shit. Exactly. So no. They want the reality they build. But of course. this is great. This is great. I can't wait for the rest of the of series three. Oh, yeah. No, this is happening. It's going to be awesome. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so ready. Yeah. Wash your hands, grip your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. See you all next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Do this.